Well, yeah, in the course of two months, I might. I don't really buy much. I, I went. I, I do maybe, I don't know, seventy-five to a hundred dollars a month, if that. Mm-hmm. I don't buy much. I, you know, I can live off of a potato. So uh, it takes a while, but I think by the time you get the you get that hundred dollars, you're you're at the I'm at the end of the time frame cut off. I don't mm-hmm. know if it's like two months, but yeah, you know, hey, if I go, I go, and I use it, I use it. Yeah, use it or lose it. That's right. It's like your time. If you work for <laughs> New York State, use it or lose it. And I'm telling you right now, I ain't losing it. Right, we ain't losing. I don't know, maybe it was our department. Did you have to revert to an all new timekeeping system, Dave? Or maybe your department? Depo- what was your timekeeping system called? Uh, we ha- we're using LATS now. Oh, we've been using that, Ed, for years. <laughs> You're a little behind the times. It goes to show you how up to date this <laughs> place I'm in. Is. I don't know what it stands for, like leave a cruel time yes. system or mm-hmm. something. We've been using that for a while. Oh, uh, we're a few years behind oh. here. We're state of so the So are you just getting computers then? <laughs> <laughs> we were late on the computers, mm-hmm. I think. We were still using those white ones with the green screens. Oh, we did, yeah, we did that for quite a while. Speaking of green, Dave, we have Monsters, Inc. Oh, there you go. With the little green man. Oh. <laughs> Starring John Goodman, Billy Crystal, James Coburn. He's gone since this came out, right? Yes, he is. He's very gone. <laughs> Jennifer Tilly, John Ratzenberger, Frank Oz, and Bonnie Hunt. Monsters, Inc., one of Disney Pixar's most beloved and visually imaginative feature films ever, returns to the big screen to delight a whole new generation of audiences and fans alike, this time in stunning 3D. The now classic Academy Award winning animated comedy adventure Monsters, Inc. is set in Monstropolis, a thriving company town where Monsters of all shapes and sizes reside. But it's in 3D. It's in 3D now. That's the only difference. Let's, let's make some more money by putting it in 3D. Well, they're putting this one in 3D now because they have Monsters University coming out next year. Oh. Okay. So we have to remind everybody about these characters again. Of course, poor whoever James Colburn was. Be okay. He will. He will not be in the, the new one. And his poor arthritic hands, which he couldn't, which were, I don't know how they were. They were always like this. Yeah. I that, remember him. Was on... that movie Payback or something? Uh-huh. And that's how his hands were the whole oh. time. It's just, that's a, that's a, that's a $500 suit. <laughs> Not pointing at something it. Something like that. Whatever he was talking remember about. remember him on a talk show talking about taking MSM was, uh, and glucosamine to help his joints. It didn't help. <laughs> it's didn't <enough>. help. <laughs> Maybe it felt better, but it didn't get the moving again. The what? Luckily, I don't, I don't have these that. These are very important. Yes. We need, we need to use these. Do li- li- remember uh, Jerry Lewis's routine? Do li- 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 oh, yeah. Was li- it li- the li- typewriter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of his comic geniuses. Lady! <laughs> okay, let's move on to the guild trip. <laughs> okay. Lilac was going to read this. She has not arrived yet. Maybe be by the end of the show. Uh, would you like me to read it? As I want like? you to read it because oh, okay. we're doing it right now. Uh, Barbara Streisand, Seth Rogen, Colin Hanks. That's who's in this film. The story follows an inventor who invites his mother on a cross-country trip as he tries to sell his new product. Well, also reuniting her with a lost love. This is rated PG-13 for language and some risque material. I believe it should be rated R for having Barbara Streisand in it. <laughs> When's the last film she was in? That was many, many years ago. Yeah. Was it like one of those Fockers movies? Yeah, yeah Fockers she no, came back. You know, Before that, though, I don't know what the heck it was. <laughs> Yentl. I can't wait. <laughs> Maybe. I'm so she doesn't look bad. I'm trying to see how much work was done here, though. Oh. We can compare her with Bette Midler coming up in another <laughs> oh, really? couple of weeks. Oh, dear. What is she in? She's in something coming up here. Good luck, sweetheart. Thank you, ma'am. So I'm sure there'll be plenty of mommy, mommy jokes here. Oh, she's in parental guidance coming up in two weeks. Well, she, uh, she's had some funny films on the 70s. Will she help Seth Rogen's humor? Uh, I remember What's Up, Doc? That was a good. Never saw it. What? No. <laughs> Oh, that's a wonderful farce, Dave. A farce? Yeah, it was farcical. Yeah, so was I earlier today after all that beef and bean burritos I was eating. 
Yeah. You should take a look at what's up, Doc. You might like that. Take a look at this in the background. See, we wanted a film with scene like this for our web series, but we were cut short, Dave. And we never got, uh, oh, there you go. We never got contacted again, did we? Uh, no, I contacted, but I said uh, we can put that on hold till the spring, because that's an outside scene. I always wanted to see the Grand Canyon. I know. I didn't know there were trains in the area. We do now when we're taping it <laughs> this time. But who'll know? That's a good point. was the last time I was ever their daughter. Oh, speaking of which, folks. Mm -hmm. I didn't get confirmation before we're taping the show, but uh, we do have a screening for this. Oh. So if you write to our email, we might still have passes today when this airs. If not, you'll want to join our weekly email so we send out the information in case it's uh, late like this. We have been getting these passes lately. They like us again, uh, i.e. <laughs> to try and give away passes to some of these turkeys right <laughs> that's usually what it is we didn't get the the hobbit of course we got the guilt trip no, no that's fine you know it's a free night out at the movies right. very expensive these days that's right that's why i don't go it i have my own house now i can't afford it yeah well well you, you'll be able to afford what you're getting your the new house you're getting better than the situation you're in now right yes without going into a lot of detail that is correct okay. uh, it, it will be uh a more financially um, <laughs> positive situation. Right because now. you were down to macaroni and cheese, I think, as, as dinners and lunch. Uh, but I did throw in a hot dog. <laughs> throw in a hot a dog. A bar S hot dog. Oh, that's... You can't beat that. When you can get when you can get a eight pack of hot dogs for fifty three cents, I mean that's quality. Was it... <laughs> that's quality merchandise. Was it fifty three cents? I don't know. Maybe a little more. It's than a that. dollar something, I think. Dollar ninety nine, maybe. Oh, uh, it can't be that much. I remember when they were fifty cents at Walmart. Yeah, yeah those. That were was always... great. I stock up on Bar S. I don't know what it stands for, but it can't be good. It's probably slowly killing me. It's but... the same dead pigs that are in the Oscar Myers one. It shouldn't matter. I, I could be, but I pig don't know. parts and things. I don't know. All right. What do we got next, Ed? That's it. So we have DVD releases. We're running a few minutes late, but okay, that's let, good. Let's get rolling here. The Bourne Legacy. What was this? The tail end of summer this was out and uh, didn't live up to the box office of the previous. Now, this was Renner taking over for Damon, correct? Yes. There was talk of them both doing a movie, but I think after this came out, uh, Damon uh, said that's not going to happen. Oh, okay. Ted, a, a, a moderately uh, humorous right. film, Ed. I did see this one, actually, huh. and I did enjoy it. I'll probably buy this. Will you? All no, right. I, but besides it's kind of funny, and it's going to be even filthier, of course, in the unrated. Wasn't there a lot of, uh, which a film I kind of enjoyed, wasn't there a lot of references to Flash Gordon in this movie? Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, I think, there, <laughs> oh yes, there was, Wasn't as a matter of fact, he was in it. <laughs> Uh, what was his name again? Did, Sam Sam Jones. Jones yes. Didn't they recreate a scene? I thought I saw a still. Of, they were in the bear and Sam Jones were in the Flash Gordon outfit. Or he had the uh, same hair, or, or is a dream sequence? I don't know. I'll have to watch it again. <laughs> watch it again. On, uh, Ice Age. Yeah. This Continental one, crap. This got bad reviews and didn't do quite as well as the other three in the series. Ugh. When, do, when, do, when are they going to learn to just, just stop? Two tops. We don't need to go to three and four and five. Girls. What is this? This is on HBO, I think. Is it? Series. Look at the knock-kneed broad there. Where the, the whole, what, is she, what, is she trying to prevent entry? <laughs> yes. She's probably the uh, prude of the girl crew here. <laughs> don't know anything about it. Never but, heard uh, of it. Les Miserables. Now, this isn't the one that's out on Christmas Day. No. This is one with uh, Liam Neeson mm -hmm. and his mighty package. Is that, what? <laughs> and Claire Danes. Yeah. And other people. I don't think this is a musical. We'll talk about this uh, when we do the actual film in a couple weeks. Is that Uma? Uma Thurman? I think so. Oh, look at this movie. Mish is 